This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Rashi brings down on the word of Aisha Kehu that Ace of Kiss Yaakov, Rashi brings down the Shita of Rab Shimon. Rashi says, Amr Rab Shimon, Halachahi biyadua. It is a well known halacha that Ace of Sainel Yaakov, that Ace of Hates Yaakov. Actually, one time I heard somebody uh, misquote this. People say this over. Halacha l'moshe misinai. It's not a halacha l'moshe misinai. Halacha l'moshe misinai is a special drasha, is a special um, type of tarsha a special category of tarsha Peh, where it, there is no source in a drasha for the halacha. It's just a uh, halacha that the Rebbeim Shem told Moshe Rabbeinu. So this is not a halacha l'moshe misinai, but it's a halacha biyadua. It's sort of a fact of life. It's a it's a reality of life. It's a law of the universe that Esav hates Yaakov Avinu. So, Rav Menachem Zemba, Hashem Yimko Imdamai, Menachem Zemba was a Rebbe of my grandfather. My grandfather used to learn in his house very often. My grandfather has clear memories of the house of Rav Menachem Zemba. He has a famous comment on, these Rashis, on this Rashi, Halacha hibi adua she'esav soyne liyakov. What does it mean it's a halacha? What kind of halacha is it? So, again, Rav Menachem Zemba would say as follows. There are people who try to analyze sociological and historical reasons for anti-Semitism. Why, why were Jews always hated? And uh, no matter how many reasons that we come up with, the reasons always seem to be contradictory. Truth is, in some countries, they hated Jews because they were capitalists. And in other, in other countries, they hated Jews because they were socialists. Some countries, they hated Jews because they were too ambitious. The Jews were uh, go-getters. Other countries, they said, no, you're... you're uh, you're leeches, you're dependent on society. So whatever you try to pin anti-Semitism on, you'll find somewhere else where they hate a Jew for the exact opposite reason. In some countries they hated Jews because uh, they were too abiding by their religion. Other times they uh, hated Jews because they espoused left-wing ideals. Therefore comes Reb Shimon. Who's Reb Shimon? Reb Shimon is the shita that were doirish time of the Kra. Rav Shimon always tries to find the reason behind the Da'iraisa. I mean, the Rav Shimon can give us a din, and the, the, the Rav Shimon doesn't tell us why, and Rav Shimon can, uh, says, there's a reason. Rav Shimon is Da'irish Taima Dekra. Comes Rav Shimon, even though there's a reason for everything, there's one thing that there's no reason for. Meaning, if it would be a different Tana who would say the, a reason for anti, uh, and uh, there is no reason for anti Semitism, you could say he's going Lashitase. There's no reason for anything in the Taira. But Reb Shimon, who's able to find a time for everything, even Reb Shimon is coming and saying, there's one thing in this world, there's no reason. I could find you a reason for every mitzvah, and yet, when it comes to anti-Semitism, it's Davka Reb Shimon, says Menachem Zemba, that it's Halacha Biyadua She'esav Soyne Eliakiv. There are no sociological reasons, and no historical reasons. It's just a reality of life. It's in their DNA. My grandfather writes that um, after the Holocaust, the... Uh, American army captured certain Nazis, and they basically said, you know, it's not our fault. It's not our fault. It's in our blood. <laughs> it's in our blood. So that's the, that's the teaching of Reb Shimon, according to Reb Nachem Zemba, Halacha hibi adua she'esav soyne liyakov. It's the law of the universe. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.